Hello, and welcome to DeviantArt Critique. Today, I'll be talking about Brewbrad. Brewbrad is an artist coming from the good old United States who has been on the site for a solid year. He has 206 watchers and has published 606 deviations at the time of writing this. Let's start inspecting this sizable gallery, shall we? It is very clear from the multitude of deviations that Brewbread has posted that he is, in fact, into the glorious foot. You've got a character with eight of them, a witch whose greatest enemy happens to be flip-flops for some inexplicable reason, and a superheroine whose powers only work if at least one of their bare feet contacts the ground. The thing that makes Brewbrad such a unique artist is not that he's into that sort of thing, though. It's that he's into that sort of thing, and makes all sorts of interesting situations with his characters, let's say. Let's look into that. As you have seen already, Brewbrad's art is pretty flawed. Firstly, Brewbrad does not use a scanner in order to upload his art whatsoever. Most of the time this is passable, but there are some occasions where this style of uploading is less than optimal, like in this piece for example. Not only is there an ugly puke yellow light covering the drawing, but the photo is taken in such a way that parts of the image appear slightly blurry. A scanner can fix all of those issues. Secondly, there is the art itself. Aside from the rampant foot fetishism, the anatomy and proportions stick out to me. There are times when the face is messed up, there are times when the breasts are messed up, and there are times when basically everything is messed up. Take a closer look at this image, for example. The head on the girl on the left is way too large for her paper-thin body. Her hand is also drawn pretty weirdly, as if some of her fingers were flattened by a hydraulic press. There are various anatomical flaws on the girl on the right as well, including, but not limited to, various flaws with the breasts, including the fact that they're located too low on the body, the fact that they look asymmetrical, and the fact that they don't look quite right. And also various flaws with her arms, including the fact that they don't look to be the same size, as well as the fact that her left arm looks a bit too long, especially on the part after the elbow. This piece also has some anatomical issues, mainly the fact that her breasts are positioned way too low on her body, and the fact that her face is proportioned weirdly. I will give him that he draws feet relatively well, but everything else is sorely lacking. But remember when I said he draws his characters in weird situations? Brewbrad has quite a few characters up his sleeve, some of which are adult, and some of which aren't. All of them, however, are constantly drawn in situations that emphasize the glorious foot above all else. Take that witch character who really cannot stand the thought of flip-flops, for example. She is 12 years old, as seen in this reference sheet. Brewbrad made this drawing of her showing off her bare foot to her boyfriend, Jimmy, who is, for some reason, the only person who she would even allow to see her bare foot. It comes across to me as really strange and creepy. Why does this witch character care about her bare foot so much? Why is Jimmy enamored by her bare foot? And also, why the fuck is there a device specifically designed to reveal people's bare feet? Brewbrad does not stop there, however. He has made a character, the one in this reference sheet to be specific, whose age is a solid four years. You heard me correctly. Four years. The drawings he has made with him are just as off-putting as the ones with that witch character, only even more so because, well, she's four. As a little side note, Brewbrad is also interested in a French artist by the name of William Adolphe Bougereau. Brewbrad describes the gallery folder he has dedicated to him thusly. William Adolphe Bougereau was a master artist in 19th century France. He loved to paint barefooted girls. I have added before versions with the girls wearing shoes and socks. Why, you ask? 
because I want to, that's why. All right, pal. You do you. You do you. In a nutshell, Brewbrad is an artist whose focus on the glorious foot is so overwhelming that it is the only thing he competently draws, with everything else going by the wayside. He also draws strange scenarios with his characters, some of which are underaged. My final recommendations to Brewbrad are as follows. Firstly, practice anatomy. Like I said, you can draw feet pretty well, but you seem to be fixated on that particular part of the body. This has caused the rest of it to suffer in terms of how well drawn it is. Practicing anatomy can help alleviate this problem. Second, practice backgrounds. I have noticed that a lot of your work feels empty. Practicing with backgrounds can help with that problem, since it fills in the empty space present in so much of your work. Thirdly, use a scanner. This can help improve the quality of the images that you upload to DeviantArt. It is a much better alternative than just taking pictures of drawings with your phone. If you have a printer, it's likely that it has a scanner. Fourth, get rid of your underaged characters. This one should come as no surprise for me. Not only is drawing underaged characters in fetishy situations just downright wrong, but getting rid of your underaged characters will also help your image in the grand scheme of things. Practically, nobody likes it when underaged girls, or boys too, are fetishized. You have also shown that you're capable of drawing fetishy situations with adult characters, so it shouldn't be too much of a pain to get rid of your underaged ones. And lastly, put fetishy material under mature content. Like I have said to other artists previously, although your work is not explicit at all, it is still intended to be fetish material, and as such, it needs to be treated appropriately. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, XenonQuark996. Have a nice day.